this is Rob Houston, and we are standing here at the entrance to Enid's newest hotel. It's been nine years in the making, but it's going to be fantastic for Enid and for our downtown area. And it's one of four or more reasons to visit Enid this week. Friday marks the grand opening of the Glow Enid Downtown Hotel and Convention Center. And you get a chance on Friday to get a sneak peek of what is going on here at this property. You will be able to tour the rooms. You will be able to see uh, this conference room, which we are in today. We'll also get a look at the pool. The lobby is spectacular, and the artwork that they have here is just, it's one of a kind. It's unique to Enid with a little bit of a twist, and you'll really enjoy that. It's 3.30 until 5.30. There'll be a ribbon cutting at 4 p.m. Uh, by the Chamber Ambassadors, and it's just going to be an opportunity to show off what has been nine years in the making. So we hope to see you Friday for the Glow Enid Downtown Hotel and Convention Center Grand Opening. This week is the 88th annual Tri-State Music Festival throughout Enid, but of course due to the COVID restrictions there are some changes. None of the performances are actually available to the public. They're going on Wednesday through Friday and therefore there's not going to be a grand concert, there's not going to be an honor band or an honor choir, and there will not be a parade this year. However, the one thing that is going on with the Tri-State Music Festival is its annual carnival. That is going on out at Oakwood Mall. It ends on Sunday. It's open every day this week, and they will have wristbands available as well as single tickets. You can go to our website to get more information on the pricing and the hours. But the Tri-State Music Festival Carnival is going on now through Sunday at Oakwood Mall. The Enid Outlaws have started out their inaugural TBL basketball season at 6-0, and they will have a chance to remain undefeated when they play on Sunday at the Stride Bank Center against the Waco Royals. Now, coming into this week, the Royals were also undefeated on the season, so this should be an outstanding matchup on Sunday. Tickets start at just $8 and go up from there, but exciting basketball action coming up for you on Sunday, 4 p.m., the Enid Outlaws against the Waco Royals at the Stride Bank Center. Saturday is another great night of auto racing at Enid Speedway. It's the Sooner Late Models that will be taking to the dirt track this weekend. The racing starts at 7.30 on Saturday evening. The gates will open at 4 p.m. It's exciting racing action on Saturday at Enid Speedway. Saturday morning beginning at 10 is the Foster Care Ride and Roll. It is a motorcycle poker run, but you don't have to have a motorcycle. If you want to participate in your vehicle, you can do that too. It starts at the Moose Lodge at 10. The last bike is in at 4. There'll be dinner and prizes following, and the registration fee is just a donation. It's the Foster Care Ride and Roll Saturday at the Enid Moose Lodge. Saturday at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center, it is History Alive. They do this the first and third Saturdays of each month, and it is reenactment characters who portray life as it was in the Cherokee outlet at the time of the 1893 land run. History Alive, Saturday, 11 to 3 at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. And that's four or more reasons to visit Enid this week. We invite you to the grand opening of this beautiful hotel, The Glow, in downtown Enid on Friday afternoon. And for more information on all the events that are coming up in Enid, go to our website, visitenid.org.